Welcome to the third refactoring, where we'll reduce semantic load by streamlining conditionals. In this video, we're going to use the introduce method refactoring to refactor the parcel ID is null check and the parcel data file name file exists check to two dedicated methods. We'll also use the introduce constant refactoring to remove the regular expression pattern, which we used in is valid parcel ID to a class constant. While the code won't be any smaller when we're finished, it will be more readable and more maintainable, but without adding any cognitive load to the calling code. Before we begin refactoring though, have a look at the two if conditions toward the top of the handle method. What they do is check if the parcel ID value stored in parcel ID is valid. And if based on that parcel ID, there exists a file that contains the JSON data for that parcel ID on the file system. Now, how they do so is problematic for two reasons. These are that the condition in the first if asks a negative question. That is, is the PID not null rather than a positive question? The second is that the condition in the second if is separated from the first so that the user needs to ask two questions instead of one compound question or perhaps just one question, depending on how the method name is phrased. So consequently, this section of code requires a lot of effort from us as developers to fully understand all of the potential flows of execution, which is otherwise referred to as high cognitive load. So let's reduce this effort by using the introduce method refactoring to refactor the parcel ID is null check and the parcel data file name file exists check to dedicated methods. After making these changes, while not any smaller, the code will be more intuitive. What's more, the new functionality can then be expanded later if and when necessary, yet the callee logic will remain the same. So let's start with the call to is null. As with the introduce variable refactoring, which we saw in the previous video, I have to select all of the code to be refactored before starting the refactoring. The refactoring then starts with the extract method dialog, where I can specify five things. These are the method's name, again, either manually or from a pre-generated list, if the method's static, if a PHP doc block should be generated, the method's visibility and the method's parameter list. Now I'll set the name to is valid parcel ID. I'll set parcel ID's type to string, and then I'll uncheck generate PHP doc and click refactor to complete the refactor. Now with the extract method refactor completed, you can see that the call to is null has been replaced by a call to is valid parcel ID, which if I navigate to it, you can see has been added at the end of the class. Now let's enhance this method by making the validation more meaningful. I'll do that by adding a call to pregmatch after is null. Now, if you're not familiar with pregmatch, it returns one, if the regular expression pattern, which is provided in the first argument, matches the supplied string provided in the second argument. Zero, if it doesn't, and false, if an error occurred. The regular expression which I've supplied checks if the parcel ID starts with an uppercase TN, which is then followed by nine numbers, and then ends with two uppercase characters between A and Z. Hmm. Let's go one step further and extract the regular expression to a class constant. You never know, we or someone else may need it later. What's more, naming it should go some way towards helping those who are less familiar than we are with regular expressions by giving it a meaningful name. To do that, I'll select the expression and run the extract constant refactoring. The option to set the visibility of the new constant is presented. Now this is because the language level of the project is greater than PHP 7.1. Now it's set to public, that's what I want, so I'm gonna leave it set to that. Now looking at the name of the new constant, by default, the refactoring bases the new constant's name on the selected string which was used to create the constant. So let's change that name to make it something more intuitive and name it regex parcel ID, as that better represents the constant's purpose. Now with the refactoring completed, if we quickly jump to the top of the file, we can see that the constant has been created and initialized there. So with that done, let's now extract the call to file exists to a method. To do that, as always, I'll select the call to file exists 
and start the extract method refactoring. As before, the extract method refactoring dialog appears. What should we call the new method? I think is valid parcel file name is a good method name because it succinctly reflects what the method does. Now with that name changed, I'm going to leave all of the other options as they are, except for generate PHP doc, which I'll just uncheck and then I'll click refactor to complete the refactor. Now let's navigate to and have a look at the new method. On its own, file exists isn't the most robust of checks for a valid parcel file name. So let's see what we can do to improve it. To do that, I'll add in a call to is readable, followed by a call to file size to make sure that we can read the file and that it has something in it. Okay, let's do a quick recap of what we've just completed. We used the introduced method refactoring to refactor the parcel ID is null check and the parcel data file name file exists check to two dedicated methods, those being is valid parcel ID and is valid parcel file name. We improved the checks performed in those methods so that the code became more robust, yet without increasing the complexity of the calling code. Then we used the introduce constant refactoring to move the regular expression pattern, which we used in is valid parcel ID to a class level constant. Now, if that constant should be required elsewhere in the class, as it develops in the future, it will be available. Now, while the code is no smaller in the handle method than it was before, it's more readable, yet it doesn't add any cognitive load to the context of the calling code. Okay, in the next video, we're going to refactor the is valid parcel file name method because while better than before, it seems to be a bit of a code smell. See you in the next video where I'll explain what I mean.